Hey, it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here we are again with the LG G5. Now, I wanted to give you guys a closer look into how the modules actually work on the G5 in removing this little bottom panel right here where the battery will actually come out. And I'll do that in a second. But as a quick disclaimer, I will tell you that if you looked at our LG G5 first look and also the camera feature focus, that will tell you everything you need to know about the camera and also about how the modules kind of work. What we're going to use right now is just an example of what it's like to actually Actually remove everything and be able to change the functionality of this device. As you're pressing this little area, you feel that there's a slight movement in the bottom panel that kind of comes out a little bit. And after that, by holding down on that area, you are actually able to just remove the entire area. Now, it is very much recommended that you turn off the device first, as we had right here, uh, and be able to just pop out the battery like this. Now, this is the entire battery right here, the 28 milli 2800 rather milliamp hour battery that is here. And it comes with this nice little inscription on the bottom that says, life's good when you play more. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing with the LG G5 by adding in a new peripheral. Now, one thing that you have to know about removing the battery on here is that you kind of have to come at an angle on this. So by gripping on the side like this and removing the battery, you'll just be able to snap it off like that. And you can already see right here that the proprietary connector on here is what will snap into other peripherals that are used with the LG G5. And in this case, we are going to be using the one that probably is very important to a lot of shooters out there, the actual camera module. Now the camera module is going to add hardware buttons in order to take advantage of the camera. And by doing so, we're just going to put the battery in at a certain angle like this and just, well, yeah, snap it into place. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but after a while it's not all that hard to do and it's going to become second nature. And once you have the battery inside of the new module, you'll just take out the G5 and slide it right in. And once you feel the snap and it does not come out by pulling it unless you press this little area on the side, you should be good to go. Now coming in just a little bit closer to the module itself, we're gonna show you what it looks like when I turn this over. Now we have the camera module right here which adds a full area right here in order for you to grip. Now that will allow everything to be easy, rather this way, that would be easier to use for taking shots because we also have the shutter button right here, a button for triggering video recording, a dial in order to change the zoom, and then a small little area right here where you're just going to flick this toggle in order to trigger the camera. But of course, when you remove the battery and you put in a new module, the battery is being reinserted, so we do have to turn the device on. Now for actually using the module here, this is the one that you're going to use that actually makes the phone not all that, well, let's say pocketable, because you have this large area right here that houses a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which will bolster the already included 2800. So you will get more battery life out of this particular grip, so it's nice to be able to have that function. But having the grip right here allows it to feel even more secure when you're actually taking photos. We're gonna turn on the brightness, and this little toggle on the side right here is what we're going to use to trigger the camera. So just by flicking that area right there, we'll be able to get right into the camera. Now, shooting with this particular module is, is a lot easier because you have the hardware buttons already up on the sides. And resting your finger on this area right here will make things very easy while you press the shutter button with your index finger, much like a point and shoot camera. So it's pretty obvious already that the grip makes shooting with this camera even easier. And as we showed in our camera feature focus, things are actually quite nice with the wide angle, 135 degree angle view that is available uh, accompanying the regular, more narrow field of view in the original lens. Now, pressing the shutter button halfway down will get you a focus, just like a regular camera. And then you press all the way down in order to take the picture. You can also trigger video recording using the other button, and there we are doing a video. So everything is just nice and easy to use with just one hand right there. Now, as you can see, we already have the pinch to zoom in order to change from the two different lenses and be able to zoom in as needed. But this dial that is right here on the corner will allow for the same functionality. So if you're holding the phone in one hand on the grip, you'll be able to just roll the dial in order to do the zoom. This is just one example and probably the best one that's available right now as to what the module is able to do, the modular design rather, is able to do by adding even more functions to the LG G5. 
And so there you have it for a quick look at the modular design of the LG G5. We have the camera module on here right now. And as you saw in this video, it's actually not all that hard to get the battery out of the original G5 construction and be able to change the battery into whatever the new modules may be. Now, if you saw our first look already, you know that we were taking a look at the camera module. And then we also had a Bang & Olufsen created Hi-Fi DAC module that was able to pre uh, create Hi-Fi audio at 32 bit for even better audio listening. So those are just the two examples that we had currently for these modules and we are really excited to see what other ones will be made available. LG did make it clear that the design and the construction of this modular design will be made available to third party uh, manufacturers so they will be able to create even more experiences and even actually create third party batteries so you can bolster the replaceable battery experience on the LG G5. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best including the uh, LG G5. If you haven't already taken a look at our first look and the verses that we have and the future focus videos that we have on this particular device. You can go ahead and head on over to androidauthority.com for even more of all of that. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to keep up with the LG G5 because we are your source for all things MWC 2016.